The Honorable Member for Kuwait Nook. I ask for leave to respond to the ministerial statement. Does the member have leave? Agreed and so ordered. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Chief Justice Murray Sinclair and his fellow commission commissioners ush have ushered in a new era in respect to the Truth and Recon Reconciliation Commission. I was distraught to hear the the, that the stories of these residential school survivors might be destroyed. I myself have attended two residential schools in my lifetime. My experience was not so traumatic. But can you imagine a young five-year-old child, my friend's mother, taken away and forced into a school, the terror she must have felt. This young child only knew her native tongue. Each time she spoke, she would be strapped on her hands by a hard wooden ruler across her tiny five-year-old hands over and over again. Picture her x-rays of her adult hands. She was never never medically treated, every finger broken repeatedly. This caused permanently disfigured hands. Let us all commit now and in the future to the honoring of the mandate of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and to ensuring that we achieve this together with reconciliation real improvement in the lives of Indigenous people in Manitoba and in Canada. Thank you, Madam Speaker.